Hello everybody, this is Boaz Feiler and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 25th of March to April 1st, 2017. We've been talking a lot about the energy of this month, how exhausting and, and challenging they are. I'm going to talk about it a little more this week, but let's start with the beauty, the aesthetic and the harmony in the sky right now. Venus, even though it's retrograde, is in Kazemi, in the heart of the Sun, in the 24th, 25th, even on the 26th, you can still vision. Take a few minutes to visualize and vision how you would like your life to look in the future in all the Venusian aspects. Contentment, love, relationships, income everything concerning our body and the contentment of our five senses. Take a few minutes, visualize how you would like it to be and ask for it. Ask for it to materialize in your life. On the 27th, we have a new moon in Aries conjunct Venus and that moon is also in a connection with Saturn that day. What does it all mean? When, whenever we have a new moon, it's a new process. And it's always important to remember that we're like energetic sponges during the days before and after the new moon. So be really aware of the energy you put out and the energy you take in because that energy can stick with you for the next 29.5 hey, days. Other than that, a new moon in Aries is always a time for a new start. It's conjunct Venus, so all the Venusian aspects are on the table as well. This is a Venus in retrograde, in a time of change. So it's a time to give birth to something new regarding your income and how you're going to make it better and less stressful in your life, regarding relationships and love and things that really need to be corrected in that realm and contentment, general contentment from life. Since the moon is also in connection with Saturn that day, remember not to be overly judgmental of yourself or others. Be warm and be kind. Because the 28th, 29th, 30th and 31st of the month, the moon is in a connection with either Pluto or Mars and these are days that we should be extra logical and we should be careful not to get caught up in the drama and not to get into unnecessary arguments or fights. Other than that, all that intense energy we've been feeling, this T-square, opposition between Uranus and uh, Jupiter with big square from Pluto on top of it, that square between Pluto and Jupiter is tightening and we're feeling the pressure. Jupiter, the greatest planet in our solar system, the biggest one, the great benefactor, the great teacher, the one that says, hey, I want to sail and, 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 and on, the, on the wings of inspiration, go out of my comfort zone and take this life as an adventure. I want to be happy, I want to be free, I want to be spiritual. I want to grow and expand and I want to expand my consciousness and my horizons. And, and, and that big puffed up planet is sitting there saying that while this small bastard Pluto is sitting on the other hand looking at him, on the other side looking at him and says, really? In which reality do you live in, my friend? What are you talking about being spiritual? and living with your happy, happy, joy, joy attitude when you're not seeing the mud you're standing in. Pluto is all about going down, seeing what's beneath the surface, our emotions and our emotional body. And Pluto says, hey buddy, before you sail on, why don't you take a look at yourself, look downstairs, see the mud you're standing in, see the shit you're standing in, and start by cleaning your own house. How can you talk about enlightenment? How can you talk about spirituality when there's so much darkness within you? How can you talk about being happy and living a joyful life when there's so much anger and rage and post-trauma that created all this manipulative and, 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 
and, uh, and um, all these behavioral patterns within you that are really negative for you and your environment. Start by making a house cleaning there. If you don't do it, you're not going to develop anywhere. You're not going to evolve anywhere. You're not going to live your life happily. You're just going to scratch the surface with never, never even diving in and seeing what's just beneath there. So this is a time of turbulence. This is a time that if we are not in touch with the darkness that we need to root out from ourselves in our own life, this can be a volcanic time. This could be a time of eruptions. This could be a time that this pressure makes us blow up. This could be a time that if we have these eruptions or we come to those peaks, we finally get the understanding that we've been looking for. We get the epiphany of what needs to change, of what needs to be rooted out. So it's, 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 it's not such a stable time, both generally speaking in society at large and personally in our lives. It's as if we need to find out this truth that needs to be unveiled so we can actually receive enlightenment. We can actually enlarge our scope and widen our horizons. So this is heightening till the end of the month. And what we really need to be doing is be kind to ourselves and love ourselves, even our weaker parts, and attend to the inner garden and remember that this needs to be a long-term process. So don't be too hard of yourself and don't be too frustrated if things don't change fast enough. Remember that this is about the cultivation of yourself, of the product you give out to the world, of the fruits that you bear. Like a very important spiritual teacher always said, Jesus, you would know the tree by its fruit. The fruits that you bear and if we need to cultivate this tree, if we need to make sure that these fruits are sweeter than they were in the past, it's a long-term process. Don't be too judgmental of yourself or others. Be kind and be patient. I hope we're going to have a beautiful week and I wish we all will. will. And I want to thank you for listening. I'm Boaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer. And of course, for private consultations, lessons, or courses, or any question you might have, you're more than welcome to contact me. Thank you for listening. Take care and goodbye.